hi what's up how is it going in today's video we are going to design a quick you know a jetta incredo uh s7 so without further ado let's step into it so right now what we need to do right now we are making use of this you know uh two pictures and uh these three pictures rather so what we are going to do is to go ahead and change the pair to a5 so after that double click on a uh, rectangle to automatically snap into the page so right now what we need to do next is to just you know copy uh, this object just like so when you go to your destination right click it copy paste so right now what we need to do is to go ahead convert this to bitmap then you power clip this into place let me show you how to power clip go ahead select the object then you locate back clip place inside frame click on that then you click on the object in which in which you want to power clip into bam automatically snap into that so right now what we need to do now is to make it bigger then let's bring in a picture the picture of the man let's convert it to bitmap convert to bitmap it's okay good back clip that into place then adjust it to fit in just like so good good so right click to set the outline to none then you go over and just bring this so right now the magic behind this what we are going to do now let's bitmap it first convert to bitmap then you go ahead to your what's it called transparency tool let's blend up a part of that good so after that convert to bitmap again okay so right now what you need to do is to go ahead to your what's it called transparency tool then you go over to this place change the blending mode to a screen so that takes you here so let's back clip that into place again then hold out key select the object then let's fit it in just like so good can you see that so right now all you need to do is to bring in a test so let's look at uh what's it called color i drop to sample the color right from here this gold then you pour it on the background can you see that so right now let's arrange our test hit ctrl k before you go further let's change the font to futurity i love this font so much hit ctrl k to break the test into pieces let's drag this down this is the courtesy then the date so right now let's work on the name of the man so what we're gonna do right now is to go ahead and just change that out to white then go ahead and hit ctrl k to break the test into pieces then you go ahead and make this a bit bigger bolding that all up so in this case what we're gonna do is to go ahead and hit ctrl k break that into pieces then let's just bring the hats to the top of the 90 so let's go ahead and delete this delete that we don't need that we need the perfect circle right there so let's go ahead and look at uh, what's it called ellipse to create a bigger circle so right now what you're gonna do is to just you know point your mouse to the edge of that circle then you hold out scan keyboard drag it in when you get to your destination you right click to copy paste automatically copy paste then you select the two then you click on ctrl health combine all of that good so right now as this right now we are going to create a magic here so let's go ahead let's go ahead and create some magic so what we're gonna do now is to go ahead and just you know hold your what's it called your ship key select the nine then you trim 
good so right now hit ctrl k let's delete this delete that then you change this to white so bring that down a little bit then you right click on uh this space right here to set change the half line to none so right now what we're gonna do is to go ahead and apply gradient effect with the help of your what's it called interactive field to drag on the object double click right here to add a node then let's change that out to a grayscale good so let's just right drag that copy our properties automatically changes good so what we're gonna do right now is group it all up then you go ahead and uh, right click set the outline to white then let's go ahead and just make a copy of that then let's make this you know gold I click on that then let's go ahead and hit F 12 for your keyboard the dollar pops up then let's change the thickness of that to 9 so good let's enter the other one within the previous one can you see that so right now what we are going to do is to make the code a bit bigger hit on F12 so let's make it you know 18 good so right now let's go ahead and just click on upper you know test hit on F12 we are going to take in that so let's make that one as well good so right now let's apply a gradient effect with the you no know, let's apply a shadow effect with a drop shadow too click on that then you drag on the 90 just like so good so in this case we are going to make the shadow a bit darker let's make that 90 good go ahead to your object then you look at break drop shadow apart automatically it breaks can you see that yeah will come let's group it all up then let's change this to black better still let's use a uh, black gold good so right now what we need that to do now is to go ahead and just bring this down a little bit then let's go ahead and just change this to gray fonts if you don't have that font you can go on google to download the fonts the name of the font is Gillian so right now hit ctrl k on keyboard then you make this a bit bigger so let's make it capitalist uh, let's try it let's see how it look I think this is nice so let's make this capitulator as well good good can you see that let's make the gold a bit darker good then go ahead let's uh, make this white the cut C body doll up So right now what we need to do is to create you know circle right here good change this to a uh, gold copy you want right click when you get to destination then you change this to white so apply gradient effect to that then you change up uh, uh, 
Pati Luapat Su Itaka Sheet of Gold. Okay, good. Can you see that? So, right now, let's just set the offline to none. Then you go ahead and just apply shadow to that, just like so. Good. Go ahead to object, then you look at break the shadow apart, smart key break then you go ahead and just bring your what's it called the date right here convert each control key on your keyboard to break that into pieces then change to white put in the dialog then bring this up a little bit just like so change it to white good so right now let's copy slide the background to the other side when you get to the other side right click copy paste automatically copy paste then let's go ahead and create magic right here so what we needed to do now is to go ahead and create you know circle just like so then you go ahead and create an object beneath it so we need to be creative with that so click once again then you drag this part up so what we're going to be doing now is to cut this part off just like so trim it all up then make a copy of this object downward then trim good delete this we don't need that so let's reduce our objects So let's go over and bring uh, the rest of the picture. Good. Make a copy of this background, extract the content, then you pack clip this to the object I created at the back. Good. So right now let's bring in this picture. Pack clip it right in there. Without key slide the picture, then you make it bigger. So right now make a copy of the background center to the previous one, extract the contents right there, delete that then let's go ahead and just uh, use our shape to to pull this uh, angle up just like so then let's delete this, don't delete yet so let's set this the outline to white it on f12 change it to uh four it's okay good so right now we need to create magic right there so what we need to do right now is to go ahead let's just create some tiny substance change that to white make a copy down or reduce that change the direction then make a copy again change the direction make it smaller change the direction just like so good change the direction good 
so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now